I'm Rebecca. Um, I'm a mom with multiple sclerosis. I was diagnosed in the 90s, way back when I was in my 20s. I am now in my 40s. Um, I have two little guys, ages four and six. <clears throat> and because of having baby number one, everything sort of turned around with my multiple sclerosis, and I will explain. Um, in 2006, I started doing acupuncture and was really amazed at the, the difference it made. Um, and then in 2007, I got pregnant, so I was able to go off all my meds. And I would never in a million years have just stopped taking the drugs because I believe that they were, you know, helping. They were improving the course of the disease. They were improving my symptoms. So I never would have just stopped taking them. But because I got pregnant, I was able to stop most of them. Um, <clears throat> And then after the baby was born, I didn't want to go back on the drugs just because I was tired of doing shots every day. I just hated it, and I hated some of the side effects that I was having with the, the medications. Um, then I got pregnant with baby number two. Oh, so after baby number one, sorry, <laughs> um, because I didn't want to go back on the, the meds, and because of the benefit that I'd had with acupuncture, it kind of opened up my eyes to what was possible with holistic health. And so I started looking to diet modification. And then I got pregnant with baby number two. And um, after he was born, two things I did. Um, I started adding really good nutritional supplements, like pharma grade versus like what I was getting at the drugstore. <laughs> Never in a million years thought that there was a difference. I thought that the vitamins at the health food store that were super expensive were just a big scam. <laughs> I could just kill myself for being so narrow-minded, but I thought, why spend so much? Why spend 40 bucks on vitamins when you can get them for eight at the drugstore, right? Okay, so anyway, uh, I switched to really good vitamins, and I was amazed with, like, the mental clarity. It was like the fog lifted when I did that. And um, I also... Oh, my dad had just died of cancer, so we got all the regular cleaning products out of our house and kind of transitioned to cleaning organically, cleaning with stuff that we make ourselves, kind of stuff like that. Um, and I was just really amazed at the progression of my disease. Since 2007, I have not been on the pharmaceuticals. Um, there were a few that I had to stay on because going off them cold turkey would have caused like a detox issue. So most things I went off of as soon as I got pregnant, and then the other things I slowly weaned off of over time. Um, so now I am pharmaceutical-free. And it wasn't until I started getting off those drugs that I realized how many of my MS symptoms were made worse by the medications. I mean, at one point I was taking like 15 to 20 different pharmaceuticals for different um, side effects for different symptoms that I was having with the MS. And, you know, turns out some of those symptoms were actually side effects of the drugs. <laughs> so I'm, yeah. Anyway, um, so then I had breast cancer, which is kind of unrelated, except to say that um, I put on 50, 50, put on like 30 pounds since the mastectomy. I'm trying to get rid of it. So what I'm going to do for you now is just a really quick exercise <laughs> that I like to do because I don't actually like to go to the gym. Um, and it's just to kind of show how different my life is now because I used to use a cane. And now I don't even know where my cane is except the other day my kids found my cane. I don't even know where they found it. But they found it and they turned it into a weapon. And one of them got hit in the head with it. So now I've taken it away again. <clears throat> but that's just to show. Like, I don't. I don't need those tools anymore and it's it's such a blessing because when the first initial symptoms set in you know I needed a chair I couldn't <laughs> I couldn't even like get around at all um and yeah so then it was cane for many many years and now it's I'm just me so Arthur come here buddy Arthur's my four-year-old and he's gonna help me work out come here we're gonna do the exercise hurry run 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 hurry run 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 jump with Arthur when he gets here. So I'm just gonna start jumping. And now the dog's gonna do it. <laughs> but Arthur weighs almost 40 pounds now, probably 40 pounds. And I'm gonna jump with him. Mommy, he comes. I got a snack for me and you. Oh, um, thanks. Cookies, come here. But we're not gonna eat those. 
right now because we're going to exercise, right? I'm going to eat your Milly Quick. No, I'm not going to eat your cookies really quick. We're going to set them down. Here. I don't want Vinny to eat them. Because Vinny's not going to eat them. He's going to be interested in what we're doing. Remember how we're going to do it? Yes. Yes. This is Arthur. Okay, ready? Shoulders, you ready? No. Yes. I'm not scared. I'm not no, 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 no. Hold on to you. I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay, okay, let's do it the regular way. Upside down. Getting pregnant was probably the most Mama. incredible thing as far as the MS goes because I never would have stopped the medication. It's not fun working out with you. It's not fun working out with me. Okay, but thanks for helping. High five. Yeah, buddy. Mama. Yes. I want to do. I will explain. So, like this. Smiling. <laughs> 